Hello everyone and welcome to an Unreal Engine tutorial that will show you how to create an in-game time counter. Now this is a really simple way to get to that result, but at the same time it is not something that you can have in your finished game. I'm going to explain that a little bit later. However, the whole process and the blueprint editing will take place in a super easy, super streamlined manner that will at least show you how the in-game counter can look and work. Now, for starts, as you can see, I have my regular third-person project. It's something that you can create from the starter content. And here, I'm going to go for blueprints. Now, when I open blueprints, I'm going to open level blueprint, where I'm going to edit and you can edit the main element that will happen to the same time counter or better said create the same time counter and see it start immediately once you enter your game. So the first element we are going to add is an event tick. This is your starting node and from here on you're going to add another node which is print string here it is now this is an important element here as you can see it says the development only mode so this node will be executed in the editor and in the development builds in a package game once you create a build it will be disabled so it's not something that you can use for your finalized game but it can show you how the same process of tracking time and creating a time counter can actually look like. Now, here we're going to add another node which is going to be get real time seconds. With that, we're going to create it with this string node here and it's going to convert it, as you're going to see, float to string. So you have your additional conversion node here which will allow it to connect this with this. So with these elements, these basic elements, you have your counter. Now all you need to is compile, save, close the blueprint editor and let's see the game in action. Immediately, as you can see on the side of the screen, are seconds and milliseconds, which begin taking off as soon as you start your game and continue to do so with a lot of decimal places for milliseconds. And they can help you track time in game in terms of how long are you playing, how long is this test session from the moment you start play or press play taking place. Now, we can tinker a bit with it, as I'm going to show you. As you can see, it's presenting, it's gone now, but it's presenting its values in milliseconds. We can round those up with another node. And I'm going to again go into open level blueprint. And here, get real time in seconds and this conversion flow to string, we're going to add a additional node which is going to be round a simple round float we're going to place it here and we're going to connect it with this node and then with the next node again it's doing another set of conversions and with that we should have our time in seconds only so let's see it. And here it is. It presents the time in seconds without any decimal places, a single decimal place, but it's staying at zero. And it's showing time. As you can see, we're going to 17 seconds and so forth. So that would be the basic blueprint of how you can create an in-game counter. As you can see, it's really simple, it's really straightforward and easy to do. However, this isn't something that you can have in your finalized build. It's not going to be present and it's not going to be something that the players can see. Instead, it's development only and you can use it in your development 
and also kind of get the basic sense of how the process of measuring time works in Unreal. So as you can see, this is the entire blueprint. Pretty simple, event tick, print string, real time in seconds with the rounding up, which you can or cannot, don't have to use if you don't want to, but with a few nodes, you can measure time in Unreal Engine in a pretty easy and simple manner. So that's all for this beginner tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you found it interesting and it can open up additional things for you in terms of creating counters, time measurement in game and anything else you might want to use. Like always, a huge thanks to everyone who subscribed already and a big thanks for everyone who will subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this tutorial useful. And of course, I would love to hear any questions or comments you might have in the comment box below. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thank you so much for watching this Unreal tutorial and see you soon on my new video in and about Unreal Engine. Until then, have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal projects. Bye bye.